Good morning, girl. It's time to wake up, don't you think? You've been in bed oh so long. I said, get up. There you go. Now your eyes are finally open. How did you sleep? Where are you? Well, that's a silly question, don't you think? You're in your room, of course. The place where you went to bed last night at around 10 p.m. The only difference now being you may be tied up. Why are you tied up? Well, that's a silly question, isn't it? Why do people tie each other up? It's either maybe because of a prank, or maybe we just don't want someone to run the second they see an option to. In my case, I did it for number two. I mean, I'll never know if you just freak out when you wake up, seeing me in your room, and then you just leave. That would be catastrophic, wouldn't it? I spent all this time trying to get in your house. All this time searching every window, maybe a spare key somewhere outside. Nothing. It all came down to this one time where you forgot to lock your door. It's a shame, isn't it? Small actions have huge consequences. In this case, you leaving a single door unlocked. Yes, it was the back door, but don't underestimate people. I got in fairly easily and no other doors were locked. It was just the two doors that prevented me from going inside of your house. Why did I tie you up? Well, I already said to keep you from running, but I guess that isn't a sufficient explanation for you, is it? It's quite simple, really. To keep you from running away, that I have you all to myself. It's just you, me, and the clock you've been hearing in the background. Except for the clock, you can't see it. It's more so for sound that whenever I leave, you have something to listen to. If it drives you crazy, well then that'll be really interesting. But for the explanation as to why I tied you up, the fact that you don't know proves my point to be honest. Say, how long have we been friends now? I'd say a good few years, maybe longer. During that time, did you never notice anything? Did you never notice me trying to maybe get close to you or closer? Because you friend zoned the hell out of me. I know you probably never thought of me this way. Can't say I blame you. This is more so both of our faults, don't you think? You were too naive to catch on. And personally, I was too scared to confess my feelings for you. But then, when I tried so hard to get your attention, you just suddenly met a group of guys that you were all too friendly with. You would playfully touch them. I know it was just a friendly gesture, but to me, that was a real stab in the gut. That was a real pain. I've been your friend for so long, yet suddenly these guys show up out of nowhere and then you're just overly friendly with them and giving them stuff I've been trying to get from you for years. Don't worry. It's not that I'm going to hurt you. It's more so we'll be spending a lot of time together. Sure, we're both in school. 
But in this room, where the windows are just covered, and the only thing that's allowing you to see is the light bulb in your room, school doesn't exist here. The world outside doesn't exist. The only sounds you'll ever hear are the sounds that can be made in your room, our voices, and that darn clock. Oh, that clock. Remember when I first visited your house? It was the first thing I noticed was the constant ticking of a clock. No matter where in the house, there was always some form of clock. It would always tick. Always. Even at the dead silent moments. You got used to the clock, didn't you? And if you didn't, well, you'll get used to it eventually. Because you're going to be spending a lot of time here. I'll let you go. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think you understand. Do I have to tell you again why I tied you up? It's just so you won't run away. I could lock the doors, but... What if you accidentally find the knife? And you so to speak, accidentally try to swing it at me. You'd be in one heck of a trouble. I'd like to save us both that pain. Pain of me possibly being hurt with a knife. And the pain of the punishment that follows for you. Do you even know where to stab to kill a person? Just what I thought, you'd probably go in the leg. And maybe if you were lucky, you'd hit a vital spot, but we all know you're too nice for that. You're always so nice to every single person you meet. It's something I noticed rather quickly. And yet, you being so nice to everyone has become your downfall. Because now you're here, in your room, tied up with me. A guy you met in a back alley. It's not that convenient, is it? Remember when I told you that I got lost on my first day of school? I wasn't necessarily lying. But some other stuff happened in that alley. Do you remember the countless murders that took place there? Of course you don't, you never read. Or you never watch the news. And you never will. Now that we're all alone here. Isn't that nice? Your parents will find out about this. Oh no, honey, they won't. You've really forgot, didn't you? They're on a business trip for the next few months. By the time they come back... Well, let's just say I already have a second location in mind. So trust me, you'll be spending your time with me a long time. Or, I let you go now, and you just love me without me forcing you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Of course you wouldn't go along with it. Well, since we're going to be here for a while, how about listening to some music? Wouldn't that be nice? No? Well, I think you want to hear something other than that clock. Don't you think? You get pretty tired of it, won't you? Hmm, I see you're getting stressed. I'll just put on some music and leave you alone for a bit. Maybe then you'll come around to the idea of spending... Hmm, maybe a few years in your room? Or if you're a really good girl? In your whole house? Hmm, which song, which song? It can't have lyrics that be too nice of me. 
Ah, there we go. This all to do it. Yeah, isn't that nice? You don't like the music? Well, you'll like it eventually, but for now. I'll see you soon, sweetie. Take care.